being a part of the girls soccer team all four years. I love spending every minute with those girls during practice and games. Specifically my sophomore, junior, and senior year, I have been selected top three of scoring the most goals, so that is definitely my favorite memory. Um, my favorite high school memory, it was sophomore year and me and my friend were at the top of the stairs uh, by coming out of the 600 building and there was a trash can way at the bottom of the stairs and I had a banana peel and I threw it and I made it in the trash can and it was literally the best memory I will ever remember. My favorite high school memory is CIF playoff senior year for volleyball against Elsinore Notre Dame. My best memory from high school was the sports. Uh, the reason being just building the ball and just having everything, you know, just practices to the games, you know, having the excitement, the rush, the adrenaline. That was my best memory because it, it made me who I am today. So one of my favorite high school memories is when we finally won the flow building competition senior year after losing three years in a row. It definitely made all those nights staying up late, stapling flowers and making animals out of chicken wire worth it. And it was something really special because, you know, our entire class came together to create something and we won. My favorite high school memory had to be my junior year is when I joined track for the first time. I made friends. I had a, I had a cool time track uh, that year. I made new friends. It was awesome. Part of high school was the cross country team. So I don't just have one favorite memory, but um, my top memories definitely come from being on the girls tennis team. I've made so many great friends through the sport, um, and it's we've made memories on bus rides, game days, practices. We're all constantly working together and putting in the effort to be a team, and I think that those will be some of the fondest memories that I will forever remember, and I love those girls and cherish them with all so my So my favorite high school memory at actual school is probably all of my orchestra concerts. I found that the later it got, the weirder everyone kind of became, and it kind of just started to turn into us just being all crazy and amped, and it just was a lot of fun. So. My high school memory is meeting all the new people that I've met along the way. I would say my favorite high school memory was being king this year. That was the best football game that I went to, and it was also the first rivalry game I went to in my four years at Poly. And the energy and the school spirit and pride that we had was just amazing that night. My favorite high school memory would have to be Thanksgiving break of junior year. My tennis friends and I spent a night at Lake Arrowhead, and we drove a golf cart up and down the mountain, and the cars got really mad at us because we were super slow. My favorite high school memory is going to be when I was in track and we were doing core and everybody would be struggling, but we'd all be struggling together and it was really a bond. My favorite memory at Poly was definitely senior year homecoming. We had a blast, my friends and I had a blast, and then volleyball season all four years and made my genuine friends from there. One of my favorite memories at Poly was all the connections I made with the lacrosse girls in the past couple of years and the bus rides we took where we had so much fun screaming and laughing and singing and just having fun. My favorite high school memory would have to be the time during my sophomore year when I participated with my ASL club for face painting during the Pride Carnival. It was really fun to see all the kids smile as we painted, and I'll always treasure that memory for a long time. There are a lot, but I would say that my favorite high school memory would definitely be traveling to New York um, with choir and singing in Carnegie Hall. That was so incredible. I got to travel with my best friends and learn so much, and yeah, that was definitely an amazing experience. My favorite high school memory would just be all the moments I had in the theater program, all those times I participated in it, and just those moments really made me happy. The most important lesson I've learned in high school is to never take things for granted. I never thought that my senior year would get cut short, and um, so it's taught me to appreciate the things that I have and to never take them for granted in life. I think one of the biggest lessons I learned in high school is that people are going to change. You may lose some friends, you're going to gain a lot of friends, even people that you may have not even thought you would click with, but by the end of the day, you are going to be with a group of people that build you up instead of bring you down, which is super important. The most important lesson I learned in high school was definitely to not stress about the little things because in the end, everything will work out. What I learned in high school was 
If you feel like saying no to something, don't be afraid to say no. Don't be afraid to fit in. Just be afraid of losing your integrity. So to say. If it doesn't feel right, say no. No matter how difficult something is that you're going through, no matter how alone you feel, you don't have to push through everything by yourself. There are people who will help you and people who want to help you. You just have to let them. The most important lesson I've learned during high school is to allow self-growth and to allow yourself to work hard because in the end, it'll get you to your dreams and it'll, it'll just prove to you that all this hard work was for something. It was not for you big lesson that high school taught me is to always ask for help if you need it. Just don't be afraid to go out of your way to get extra. My favorite teacher is Mr. Fenwall because I had him my sophomore year, my senior year, and I TA'd for him my senior year. And he's just one of the people who inspired me to be a math teacher. My favorite teacher is Mrs. Walton. is Miss Walton, forever and always. Mr. Van is a close second. My favorite teachers were Senor Wiley and Mr. Schultz. My favorite teachers were Mr. Partillo and Madame Pee. My favorite high school teacher was Miss Martinez. 100% hands down. She was my favorite. She uh, was my English teacher my junior year. Me and her honestly just had the best bond ever. I love that woman to death and I will never forget her. Okay, five come to mind. There's Trotter, Rankins, Alejo, Mejia, but I have to say Mr. Mark Morris is my favorite teacher because he just never gave up on me and he gave me such hope in myself and I can never thank him enough for that. I do not have one favorite teacher. I have several, so I'm going to name and thank them all. That is Mr. Schulte, Miss Roman, Miss Martinez, Mr. Schiller, Mr. Schneider, and Mr. Del Campo. They are all very great teachers and they helped me through my four years. They made me feel like I was heard and they allowed me to personally. My grow. favorite teacher definitely had to be Mr. Schulte. Mr. Schulte was always, especially senior year, he's always helped me with dealing with personal issues and situations and I'm forever grateful to have him as a teacher. Thank you so much for everything, Mr. Shorty. Um, my favorite teachers were Miss Avila, Ms. Campo, Mr. Campo, Mr. Trinis. My favorite teacher in high school is not just one, but many. Mr. Portillo, Del Campo, Ms. Cunningham, the OG, Mr. Snyder. All these teachers have helped me 100% and I respect them and I thank them for everything they've done for me since day one. Okay, my most embarrassing high school memories, both of them involve falling. So the first one, I was going, you know, the hill from like the office to the theater. I was walking down that hill and I fell down it um, and I cried. And then my second most embarrassing high school memory was this year, senior year, I was going up the stairs from the lower 600s to the upper 600s and I was all by myself and I fell going up the stairs and it was really embarrassing. My most embarrassing high school memory was getting lost during a cross country race and then ending up getting disqualified for it because I got lost. I would say that my most embarrassing moment at Poly was when I was going up the stairs by the office with my friends and I tripped going up the stairs and I cracked my phone really badly and I scraped my hand and it really hurt and I was really embarrassed. My most embarrassing high school memory was junior year. I was picking up my sister in the Poly parking lot and I reversed into a girl. I backed my car into her and she is fine. It did happen and it was mortifying. Um, my most embarrassing high school memory was messing up my lines in the Shakespeare show. That was just not something fun to think about. I would say my most embarrassing um, high school memory was nearly falling and slipping down the 800 stairs every year during the time it was raining. Those stairs were the slipperiest thing on campus every time it rained and I almost fell every single time. Okay, so my most embarrassing high school memory was one day after lunch, I was walking to fifth period with my friends and I tripped over my pants and fell, but I was holding my hydroflask, so my hydroflask slammed on the concrete and it made the loudest noise in history and, and everybody just stopped and stared at me. So my definitely most embarrassing high school memory was actually my senior in my anatomy class. 
there was these kids recording a TikTok and I got in the way by actually going towards the camera where I didn't see it and shoving the kid dancing. My most embarrassing memory was my junior year. I was performing my slam poem in the theater in front of the whole school. I was very nervous and I forgot one of my lines and it was very obvious and I was super embarrassed. My most embarrassing memory is passing out not once but twice on the tennis court at Poly. So that was fun. So my most embarrassing high school memory is freshman year. On my first day of school I walked into the boys bathroom in an accident and I got so nervous that I kind of just like stood in the doorway until a guy yelled at me, hey this is the guy's bathroom you need to get out. So that was great. <laughs> My advice for incoming freshmen is that it's going to get easier. Honestly, a lot of people say that freshman year is the easiest and then senior year gets the, towards senior year gets the hardest. But it honestly gets easier because your mentality changes and it's just the greatest thing ever. Some advice I'd give to incoming freshmen is to keep your circle small, to trust your instincts, and to learn to love your insecurities because they don't define who you are and to experience everything in high school and everything high school has to offer. Don't be afraid of failing at something. Be afraid of never taking the chance. I wish I could go back and take the chance that I never took. talk to some of your teachers. Some of your teachers will help you. My advice to freshmen would be to listen more and talk less. A piece of advice that I would give freshmen would be just to go do it. I missed out on a lot of stuff because I didn't think that I was going to have fun, but in the last two years I've gone to things and I've had a blast. So just go do it and don't miss out if you If I could give any advice to an incoming freshman, it would definitely be don't be nervous on your first day. I promise you everything will be just fine. I would say get involved as soon as possible and don't take any of the moments you make for granted because it goes by so fast, your four years at Poly. Go Bears. If I could give advice to freshmen, I would say that things are constantly changing and you don't have to stick with a certain friend group or sport or extracurricular. Um, there's better things coming for you every single day. So my biggest crush that I had all four years probably would have to be Grace Cyberling. I just had the fast crush on her and- My high school crush was Hannah Schmutzer and Crystal Shea. Oh boy. Um, I will not state names for their own privacy reasons, but one of them I technically met back in middle school and the second one I met my sophomore year. And I don't know, they, they just made me happy, I, I guess. My biggest high school crush I would definitely have to say, hands down, is Valerie Estrada. Uh, I love her with my whole heart and soul. My biggest high school crush was my freshman year. Uh, his name was Isaac Wilson. We called him Isaac Dub or Doug. He was a senior and he played football. And I think he knew I had the biggest crush on him because we talked all the time, but I definitely had the biggest crush on him. So my biggest high school crush turned out to be my boyfriend during my high school year. We still are we still are together. We were together junior year and we still are now and going into college we will be. So um, shout out to Daniel. After quarantine, I hope to make as many memories that I can with all my friends, going out, having a lot of fun, and I want to go straight to Six Flags if they're open or right when they open. So the first place I would go to after quarantine is probably the barbershop, and then right after I'd, I'd probably go to like a friend's thing house. What I'll do once I'm released from quarantine is go hang out with friends. First thing that I'm gonna do when I get out of this stupid quarantine is I'm probably gonna just hug all my friends and give them cookies. I don't know, I just need to see my friends again. I'm going crazy, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like drive and visit all my friends and get Del Taco French friends. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do after quarantine is go to the beach with my friends. First thing that I will be doing once released from quarantine is going to Disneyland. I miss that place so much. I'm a Disney fanatic, and I will be hanging out with all of the friends that are leaving out of state 
or you know, out of Riverside County and just hanging out with them for sure. The first thing I'm going to do once I'm out of quarantine is go to the beach with friends because I love going to the beach, it's one of my favorite things to do and I can't wait to go back once it's safe. When quarantine is lifted is I'm going to throw a big prom for me and my friends in the backyard and that is the first great. thing I'm going to do when quarantine's done is go to the beach, of course, because it's my favorite place ever. The very first thing I'm gonna be doing as soon as the quarantine thing is done is gonna be continuing investing myself, continuing self-growth, continue reading self-help books, and continue improving and helping those I can while I'm still here in this universe. Once we get out of quarantine is go to the beach with a bunch of people. Already not my priority by the time the quarantine is over. I, I am going to focus on enlisting in the military and just getting my life started. College that I will be attending this fall 2020 will be Cal State Fullerton. I chose this college because I wanted to be somewhere far from home, but yet close enough to where I can have my family around. So yeah, and it's a beautiful. Next year in the fall, I will be attending the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, majoring in anthropology with a concentration in forensics. Go ball! I'll be attending Fairleigh Dickinson University next year. I'll be majoring in sports management. I'll be attending Cal State Monterey Bay in the fall to study environmental science. I have decided to enlist in the United States Air Force. Cal State Fullerton study music. I'm going to UCLA to major in political science and gender and women's studies. And I will be attending Cal State Fullerton this fall to major in math with the goal of becoming a high school math teacher. Next fall, I will be attending UC Santa Cruz. I will be playing on the women's tennis team. Um, I'm hoping to study either film and digital media or politics. Uh, this fall, I am going to UC Santa Barbara to study biology. Go Gauchos! In the fall, I'll be attending UCLA and majoring in psychobiology. I'm going to Cal Poly SLO next year. I have committed to Cal State LA to further my education and soccer career, um, and I will be majoring in business management. I will be attending Cal Poly San Luis Obispo next year. The college I've chosen to go to is RCC. I will be going out there. I'm going to stay in local. Career choice wise, I don't know what I want to do yet, but there is a lot of things I'm interested in doing. This upcoming year, I will be attending Cal State University of Long Beach. I will be continuing my athletic career playing soccer as well as majoring in biology. I am very excited for this new journey and to all of my poly people, I love you guys so much and thank you for making these four years the best ever and I can't wait to see you.